hello everyone. Well, welcome to another uh, le lecture on financial services marketing theory for our module of marketing for financial services, whereby here we are basically looking at the seven P's of financial services marketing. So in our previous lecture, you remember us uh, looking at the characteristics of uh, financial services, whereby we are looking at the intangibility, uh, heterogeneity, perishability uh, as well as uh, uh, inseparability. So because uh, of those characteristics of financial services, uh, there is uh, a financial theory which is called uh, the, the seven P's of financial services marketing. Uh, well, what is, uh, let's just look at, uh, first looking at the definition of, of a marketing mix. Uh, so a marketing mix is basically a combination of factors that can be controlled by a company to influence customers to purchase its products. So we are saying a marketing mix is a, that uh, combination or of uh, various factors that can be influenced by a financial services provider in order to uh, uh, encourage or to entice the customers to buy its uh, products or its products and services. Uh, so a marketing mix can also be defined as a set of marketing tools that a business uses to sell its products and services to its target customers. So we are saying these are like uh, the, the, the marketing uh, gadgets or the marketing tools that a certain business or a financial service providers uh, have at its disposal and can use in order to sell its products and services uh, to its uh, target market. Okay, uh, let's look at the traditional four P's uh, of marketing or the traditional uh, four P's uh, of marketing mix. So this we are saying uh, traditional four P's in the sense that uh, these four P's uh, they can also apply to the uh, uh, marketing of our products as well. Traditionally, uh, these applies to both the services marketing and product marketing, and uh, these four P's are product uh, price plays and promotion you can see that they were they have been called four p's in the sense that both not both, in the sense that all of them uh, start uh, with a, a p so we have product uh, price place and a promotion so what is a product so a product is a good or service uh, uh, that is provided to the customer is pay the customer's requirements or is pay the customer's expectations uh, and what is a place a place is usually is a physical location or the, uh, the the convenient place or the convenient location where the customer is able to buy or is able to obtain a certain product or a service uh, from the financial services provider and what is the price the price actually is the that uh, quantity that is attached to a product or a services and which gives that product or a service a value or it is the monetary value that is attached to a particular financial product or a service and what is promotion promotion actually deals with uh, the marketing part that is advertising uh, sales promotion, uh, personal selling, uh, even social media marketing uh, uh, that a, a, an organization can use to communicate the usefulness or the benefits of that particular financial service or that particular financial product to its uh, target market. So. Uh, the, we said these four P's that is uh, that we have looked at are basically applied applies to both the services marketing and the goods marketing. But uh, now for services for services marketing because of its uh, unique characteristics of uh, that uh, perishability, intangibility, heterogeneity, inseparability, uh, we have to add more three more P's. That is where 
the seven P's of marketing next come into play because for the services marketing you have to include three more P's which is the people, the processes and the physical evidence. So the people basically here we are seeing the people we are putting into consideration. These are not the consumers but these are the employees of a certain uh, company that is providing that particular financial services in the market. So the, in order for the financial services providers to sell their product or service uh, or their service rather to the, to the market, they need the employees, the sales force or the sales staff. And they always say for the sales staff to sell that particular service to the customers, they need to be happy. So as they always say, a happy employee is a satisfied employee. So we are saying the people here, we are not looking at the customers, but we are looking at the employees, basically the safe staff uh, that are employed by that company in order to sell the service. We also have the processes. Uh, this is pro the process now we are looking at the, the distribution channel. We, but we are saying, uh, how is the pro how is the service going to move from the supplier to the final consumer? Is it that we can use the the traditional uh, distribution channel? But we're saying we are using middlemen, the retailers and the wholesalers, in order to get our our service to the customers, or we can just do direct marketing. But we are saying we are providing the service directly to the customers, like what most uh, financial services providers do, like uh, the insurance uh, the companies. They they just give the, their insurance service directly to the uh, customer to the customers through their uh, own sales force. Also, you have the physical evidence. Uh, so we are saying this are uh, this is. Uh, uh, we are saying the physical evidence is the proof now of uh, the transaction that you have been involved in the financial services uh, uh, in the financial services uh, delivered. We are saying this is the proof of purchase or the proof of issuance or the proof that the customer have uh, an account with a particular uh, financial services provider so we are saying an example is an insurance company would give customers some form of prevent uh, prevent material in the form of insurance policies is a proof that indeed this customer is uh, a, a a bona fide uh, customer in that uh, particular uh, industry in that particular financial services uh, business so let's look at the uh, all the seven P's are combined, or the seven P's of the market of the marketing mix. We have the, as we have highlighted, they are called the seven P's now because all of them start with a letter P. So we have the first one, which is place. We also have, we say, we say this is the physical location where the uh, financial services are. Uh, product is uh, to be obtained by the customers the people we are saying these are the employees that are employed by the financial services uh, provider who, who to uh, deliver or to give the service to the uh, various customers who also have uh, processes this is the distribution channel but we are saying uh, how are we going to deliver or how are we going to get the service to the final consumer but we can use indirect distribution channel or indirect marketing uh, or the direct distribution channel or the indirect distribution channel is the channel that involves the middlemen who are saying in, we can use uh, the wholesalers and the retailers in order to provide our uh, service also if the price uh, this is the monetary value that is <coughs> attached uh, to a certain financial services so we know that we have uh, to pay insurance premiums monthly to an insurance company so that uh, premium, those premiums that you pay monthly to the insurance company is the price okay the product uh, this is uh, actually the physical uh, a good or a service that is provided by that particular financial service uh, provider
right? Uh, we also have <coughs> the promotion invoicing. This uh, actually use, uh, have to do with the uh, those uh, promotions or those advertising techniques that are used by various financial services providers in order to sell their product, the physical evidence. We are saying that this is the proof or the documentation involved uh, in the provision of financial services that will show that indeed this is the owner of this account or this is the owner of this financial uh, service. Okay, now let's look at uh, a practice question whereby you are going to look at, uh, you are going to expand, expand Briefly, the following marketing theories are uh, uh, these theories basically are related uh, to the seven P's or the seven P's of marketing mix. So that is a uh, SWOT analysis, a uh, pistol theory, uh, BCG matrix, and stakeholder mapping. These theories are are related to uh, the uh, seven P's of financial marketing. So we have to briefly. Uh, uh, explain these theories. Uh, thank you very much and uh, have a nice day.